trying to ride his dick and blah, blah, blah. And did he almost get into a fight with Travis Scott? Yeah, that mm. clip surfaced. Um, I don't know what it was over, but... <clears throat> but he addressed that. Tory Lanez addressed that in his in his album, whatever. That him and Tor- I mean him and Travis. He dropped Jones another fought. song too. Yeah. Um. Your He's ex. Just all over the place. I'm Ain't just your ex. Not. Ain't your ex with Mila, Mila J. J and Tink <laughs> and Tink. Yeah. And I want Tink to drop another album. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna need her yeah. too. Yeah, I need yeah. her to drop another album. Um, yikes! I mean, um, Ain't your ex was dope. Have you heard it yet? Whose song is it? Everybody Eric Bellinger. Yeah. No, I haven't heard it. Okay. His album comes out next week, too. Oh, good. Friday. Thank Excited God. about that. The um, same day as... Another upcoming um, album. Cardi. Yeah. Cardi, Cardi, Cardi. <laughs> Invasion of Privacy. I can't I love the wait. name of the album. <clears throat> yeah. And I love the album cover. It's yes. The, the album cover is giving me Missy Elliott and Misdemeanor Little Kim. of... Um, like Little Kim vibes. Yeah. Misdemeanor of Missy like, Elliott. Like, yeah. to me. Yeah. That, was on that, that was on the album, Misdemeanor of Missy yeah. Elliott. Yeah. Did her track her track listing didn't drop yet? No, nah, her track listing has not dropped yet. She hasn't even did like a pre order. Nah, nah so it ain't it pre release. It ain't even popped whoa. up yet. Yeah. So apparently she's signed to Quality Control. So that's the Migos label. Uh huh. So mm-hmm. how do you guys feel about that? Like her signing to Migos? I mean, I don't. I honestly don't Offset. see the problem because yeah. I, I don't. I don't. And think where else do you think she's gonna go? Her. You know, she her and Offset. So it what, just who makes was sense. she signed to before? She was she she wasn't. Signed? She wasn't. I think she was independent. Dropping her mixtapes. Yeah, I think she's... So, what do you think? Do you think grind? the album is going to be straight fire? I don't need... Well, yeah. Yeah. I do. Yeah, I'm not worried at all. Yeah. Well, what are we expecting? I'm ready to hear those more bars. More fire. More fire. I'm just ready to like, hear more we, Bodak Yellow. I was going to say, do y'all... Wanna, Bardi, um, is it going to be... Do you think it's going to be more Bodak Yellow, Cardi, Bardi? Like... Yeah, as long as she ain't singing, yes. we got money. She can't sing, can she? No. Mm. Other than I've, I've heard her sing in Spanish, but I... Wouldn't really hold weight to that, but other than that, no, I don't bless, bless you. you. I don't see it being like super heavy. I don't see her singing. I just, singing ballads and shit. Um, like, I'm ready like for Nikki it. Did us on Pink Friday. Yeah. I'm ready for it. Um, so I'm, I'm just ready for it. So we will be talking about that uh, next and Friday. We, yeah, next week. Yeah. Um, also, DJ Luke Nasty dropped a new album. Did he? Yes, and he actually has your boy, your boo, Rotimi. <laughs> And on the song that they did um, called Last Night is a remake to Superstar, Usher. Okay. So I just want to give you a little quick snippet of it. Oh, I miss snippets. I appreciate a good snippet. So you guys, confessions, Usher. See, I respect a sample like that to not make me... Is that real, Timmy? No, what, that was singing. That was... It's um, DJ Luke Nasty featuring real Timmy, oh, yeah. so real Timmy's singing. That might be Are right. you over there getting wet, Nita? <laughs> now, any of you don't know, Nita, first lady of Corvette, she has a super duper 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 crush on him. But this does not replace my love for Drake. Right. Everybody can go for Drake. Right. But you got a picture with him, though, actually. Not I know. Drake yet. Not yet. We get in there. So, okay. When I go to Toronto, so, it's a wrap. So yes, D- DJ back. Luke Nasty just dropped that new album. Um, so your boy's on there, so check it out. It's called Cruise Control. Okay. Um, it's actually kind of good. I like it so far from what I heard from it. Um, and um, uh, I had something else. Oh, on the run tour. I know it's not. It is music, but it's not an album. Tickets went on sale last week. I did get my. Where are you going? What city are you going to Columbia. Say, oh, Columbia. I tried to get Atlanta, but it was gone. So my homegirl, she has title. So they did a pre-sale. Mm. I actually got, like, lower seats for, like, dirt cheap. I got from, like, 115. I'm, like, on, like, Damn. right in front of the stage. I'm in Section 13. Oh, hmm. you might want to ask Ayla where she at, because that's where she going to. Oh, yeah, she going there and NOLA. She yeah, we, told me. We going to NOLA, but. Yeah, she told yeah. me. And hmm. Chris Brown announced his tour, Heartbreak on a Full Moon. He will be here July 9th. You coming to Charlotte? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, coming to Charlotte. PNC Pavilion tickets go on sale tomorrow for City Card members. Where the hell is and that at? For only City Card. PNC Pavilion. Is that outside? Let me finish. Yeah. It's in Where Charlotte. It's out there. It's over there been. down. North Triangle Street, right? Yeah, it's down. Past the Starlight? Yeah, you know where Starlight? In a quick trip? Nah, I'm not. Oh, it's in University? Yeah. Yeah. So PNC Pavilion. He will be here January 9th. It's on a Monday. July. 
July 9th, I'm sorry, on a Monday. Monday um, tickets for city card members pre-sale goes on tomorrow for the general, since Cassie cut me off, goes on sale on Friday, open to everybody. But if you have a city card, you can get your tickets tomorrow for pre-sale. So you have to have a city card? For pre-sale. Oh. Open to the general public is on Friday. I think I got a so like, so like how like Beyonce and Jay did it like when their tickets went on sale for pre sale. If you had title or you had the Beehive code, then you can get your tickets early. Mm. But general tickets to the public went on sale like three, four days later. So um, my brother has a city credit card, so he's going to get ours tomorrow. I mean, I like Chris Brown. Also, he got more music. Wait, the championship got, tour. Don't he got Black Her and Rich the Kid going on tour with him? So that'll help. Like. I mean, everybody knows her, but that'll help. Like. I mean, I would win just to see. Rich the Kid is dope. I actually yeah. have his albums. And um, her, of course, I would love to yeah. see Black her. And her, that's a, that's but a nice I, I would win if it was just Chris Lionel, Brown. Though. If it was just Chris Brown, I would win by myself. Are you going? Yeah. No. I, you I going? keep getting told I'm going, I but know. I'm not going. I'm not a concert goer. So oh, yeah, you're not, not a concert, really concert goer. Okay. So. And I'll and see her at Broccoli Fest. Excuse me? Okay. Chris is going to Camden? What? <laughs> so Right. That's the hood. crazy. Okay. And then Holy also, um, for those who want to go to concerts, um, May 25th in Raleigh. What's the 25th? This is set up my calendar. Let me just make sure I don't misquote the date. So, yeah, May 26th, actually, is a Saturday in Raleigh. The championship tour will be in Raleigh. And that is Kendrick Lamar, Scissor, and Schoolboy Q. That's all TD. Yeah. And two other people that I don't know. I'm going to definitely Absol. try to go. I don't, I don't remember Absol the names. And, uh, it might be. And J-Rock. Yeah. It's everybody, everybody on TV. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely want to see Kendrick Lamar, Sir? Scobar Q. No, Sir. Sir oh, is Sir there. is on it. I kept yeah. thinking it was a Sir the Baptist, but it's not. It's Sir. <laughs> yes. Um, so that's May 26th in Raleigh. If you guys want to go to that, lawn seats are only $35. But Did y'all hear that SZA, her last, her next album is going to be her last? Her last album. Is no. she pregnant? No, she said that she... Something about her, her life isn't as private as it was anymore. So she plans on making her last work her best work because it's gonna be her last album. I feel like she lying, but it's cool. I don't, I don't respect. Okay, so I like, don't like when people when do people that, say last, just like, like um, we just got here. Like Jeezy said, he's retiring. Yeah, it's a rap fan. He been here since when? Early two thousand. Right, but I don't, I don't believe that any. And just like I'm not even, I agree with what Charlamagne said. He said he never believes when a rapper says like. Yeah, nah. How many times Jeezy said he was done? Right. Five and I wish right. he was telling the truth when he stopped. Never right. mind, go ahead. Don't go on your rant, neither. Sorry. Please. You Sorry. don't want Jay to keep rapping? No. You ain't like four forty four? It was all right. Four forty four. What? Really? If he, he stopped he rapping, that black album. Are you still on the black album? No, I said he could have stopped there. At the Kingdom black Come album. was a terrible album. Yeah, that was his worst album to me. Kingdom, Kingdom Come? Come yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah, those are your concert music and new album releases. Um Check them out. All the people that we um, mentioned, if you haven't, go, listen, download, play. You said after Black Album? Hold on. I'm still on that. <laughs> so after Black Album came... Kingdom Come. It, uh, Kingdom Come. American Gangster? No, that has to stay. Blueprint no, 3. No, American Gangster can stay. Blueprint 3. Is Blueprint 3 came de- out. It's definitely staying. Watch the Throne with... Well, that's him and Kanye. That don't count. Holy Grail. Holy Grail can stay. And then 444. That's some good albums that came out the Black Album, though. I'm just saying. I don't know, nigga. All I want you to do is stick to your word. You can't even stick to your vows. So What's your favorite Jay Z album? Oh, God. Favorite Jay Z album, Blueprint. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, me too. Favorite Jay Z album? No. Favorite Jay Z album? Oh, God. So What's your favorite Jay Z song? We'll start there. Honestly? Sheesh, my. Yeah. I love Dead Presidents. Yeah. That presence is my shit. Like the hustle, probably. Yeah. No, imaginary players. Nah, that's my shit. Definitely um, dead presidents, for sure. Um, yeah. That is, yeah. That would be. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so somebody bit Beyonce? So now okay. Lacey did it. I'm just going over some quick So you think that quick. she really did like it? No. Hits. People were saying on quick TMZ, like, like for is, real, uh, for real, like she did it and she step. lied. <laughs> Wait. Why was she? But this happened in December. Yeah. Why was Sonali Lathan bite Beyonce? They said, okay, so this is what they say. How do you happened. even get that close to bite uh, on? Like, okay, so this was after Jay Z's show. Allegedly, they were all at an after party. It was B J, James Franco, Rihanna, Queen Latifah, Sonali Lathan, Tiffany Haddish, 
um, Sarah Foster. Tiffany Haddish. Um, yeah. Haddish. Tiffany Haddish said right. it. Right. So, <laughs> she's crazy as fuck. So, allegedly, because I ain't trying to get sold yeah, by yeah, nobody yeah. who ain't got no money for, to pay for. It'd be funny if we got sued because of this. That'd be some bullshit. Nah, I don't give a fuck. TV, TMZ yeah. said you ain't suing them niggas. Yeah. Anywho, allegedly, Tiffany said that um, Beyonce. Beyonce saw Sanal talking to Jay and she felt uncomfortable. So when she walked up on them, I guess Sanal was trying to de-escalate it to make her feel at ease. Like, oh, it's nothing going on. And she bit her on the cheek. She, they like said she bite. meant it like a play bite. But literally, Jay, she walked back over to Jay and was like, that bitch bit me. Oh, shit. Okay. So when Tiffany hurt, somebody said... I can't believe she bit Beyonce. They Tiffany asked her what was up, and she was like, "I'll go whoop her ass right now." Beyonce was like, "Chill." Tiffany said that. Yeah. So she remember, crazy. but Sanaya actually said something this morning. She said that it wasn't true. She said y'all are so, funny under no circumstances. So remember when I Tiffany posted the picture? Beyonce told her to have a good time. And that's how she ended up getting that picture with her. So the story ain't that off. And when Chrissy said who she Chrissy Chigan? Yeah, she was like, I could imagine who I could think of who it was or she whatever. She said she knew who it was, but she said she can't no, say No, of course. She was I like, believe, I said too much. I believe she too. Said, she, she said who she thought it was. She was like, they're the worst. So people thought she was talking about Gwyneth Paltrow, Paltrow or whatever. Aren't they best friends But she now? wasn't there. But Gwyneth Paltrow is the worst. I've heard stories. They are best friends, aren't they? That's not the point. She's still the worst. Oh, okay. that, that's not even allegedly. The bitch can sue me. She's the worst. Anywho, so she was like, she just found out who it was, but she can't say because she said too Okay, much. my question is, if this happened in December, it's now damn near April. Why are you just now saying something about this? She, she brought up the story before, but she didn't go into, like, full detail. So I guess when she had her interview, they was asking her about her meeting Beyonce, and it turned into this whole uh, she shit show. Just, it's, at this point, it's so old, it's irrelevant. Like, why are you even bringing it up? It's four months old. Yeah. I mean, that elevator story old. People just want to know what the fuck going on with Beyonce. Uh, she's selling out arenas right now. <laughs> she that ain't does. nothing new. As we want to hear the tea. Like we don't care nothing about you selling out arenas. We we know you're gonna do that regardless. We want to know what's good. Nine hundred dollar fucking what's tickets. What's goody? One of my coworkers' friends bought I didn't a pay ticket much for nine hundred dollars. And, and, and now they're reselling. I could I could resell my ticket right now for two thousand dollars. <laughs> you really want to see Beyonce? Yeah, because he got the low seats though for like a hundred. So yeah, you could resell them. I should do it. I would if I was. Hell, I we we paid I mean, for our floor seats and we didn't pay that much. How many times have you seen Beyonce though? And like, I, I'm not this a never fan, but I want to see Jay Z. So this will be my first time seeing Jay Z. Oh, I've well. seen Jay before. I, mean, you I will go. But this will be my first time seeing Beyonce. So you're going in, in New Orleans? <laughs> yeah, we're going okay. to New Orleans. That shit gonna be crazy. New Orleans. I just want to see Solange. Is she opening? I don't know. No, I wonder. I wonder. To know if Chloe and Hallie were opening for Why her, New Orleans, I don't know. Though, just... I heard it because yeah. we it, there wasn't no closer tickets. We couldn't get Atlanta seats. Like Atlanta yeah. fucking jammed so, the damn server. Couldn't yeah. nobody buy no and tickets. See, she just it's opened so up niggas. three, three thought, more cities last yeah, week. Yeah, it was she, so Columbia many niggas that was, was like, bruh, I live in Atlanta. I can't get tickets in they Atlanta. They didn't add another Atlanta show. They didn't add it to oh, after the added, fact. Uh, no, she added another Houston show in Columbia. Not another Atlanta. She show. added another Atlanta. I thought she added another Atlanta. Two Houston, one Columbia, and it was some other cities. I don't know. But mm-hmm. that shit is going to be crazy, man. So, Columbia, right down the highway, so... Um, let me see. What else I want to throw at? Uh, how y'all feel about Lil Wayne and Birdman kind of back together? No? If he ain't running him his money... Is he ever going to get the money at this point? Oh, that's somebody at the door. Oh. But, um, yeah, I seen them twice. I guess they kind of talked about it, whatever. Um, let me see. Oh, nah, we good. Um, y'all see Bow Wow about to commit suicide? What? No. <laughs> nah. I'm just throwing bullshit out there. Um, he first of all, oh yeah. First of all, um, my whole thing with Bow Wow is he does a lot of stuff for attention, so I can't really respect the fact that I mean he might be going through something, and that might be all very well and fine. But I'm so tired of him doing a shit for attention that I'm just over it. So I feel like he's the boy who cried wolf. So it's gonna be what it is. Right. And, and then when he, he finally at. wants to do something, no one's gonna believe him because he lies so much. Um, well, uh, that's uh, that's our show for this evening. Um, I guess we got pulled uh, to it's a couple, you know. I wouldn't say issues, but um, until we get our money up, we sh- actually share a studio. So that's the... Uh, Why are you telling people 
No, I'm just saying, nah. Broke. So you know, that's uh. We just don't have it right now. Yeah, yeah, we ain't got it. But if y'all, if y'all want it, you know what I mean? We could throw a GoFundMe out there so we can get this money. But money. Um, yeah, our time is up. Uh, <laughs> Let them know y'all have a good weekend. Uh, yeah, uh, the makeup Bobby Drew Brees. Uh, Why are you saying it so fast? Uh, I thought you were trying to hurry up. No, no? they didn't. All right. Uh, Drew Brees, the Dominican Poppy, two ends on Instagram. Um, yeah. CJ, so. the prince. <laughs> yeah, you, he likes. <laughs>